This is how you convert a numeric notation value like this into a full numeric value so that you can add the sum at the bottom correctly. Now, the first function we'll use will be the substitute. We'll be replacing the dollar sign from this cell here with a blank like this, dollar blank close parenthesis. And if you hit enter, you can see that the dollar sign from this string text disappears. Now to convert the K into a thousand, simply encapsulate the first substitute with another substitute and the outer layer substitute we're gonna replace the k with e3 like this now e3 is not your cell location on your worksheet e3 pertains to thousand if you hit enter here you can see that you have a value in scientific notation now to convert this into a full numeric value simply put a dash dash or minus minus at the front and hit enter now it's converted into numeric value and if you apply the same formula you can see anything that has a number or a k get converted correctly but for millions billions and trillions it's not been addressed yet now to fix for millions simply encapsulate your two substitute with another substitute and then for the second and the third argument for the outer layer substitute would be for millions and millions gonna have six zeros at the back that's why i'm gonna say e6 let's put a comma here and then hit enter and apply the same formula for the rest of the rows as you can see the millions are converting correctly now let's finalize the formulas by converting our billions here changing this to b and e9 and then let's do trillions as well with another substitute copy the last two arguments and simply change billions to trillions and change that to 12 and hit enter and apply the same formula for the rest of the rows and you can see all the millions billions trillions are converted correctly now you can simply add the sum at the bottom and it comes up correctly and this is your final formula